Hello everybody. Today on Schaefer Reviews, we are reviewing Fast and the Furious Dodge Charger RT. Alright guys, let's get to the unboxing. Well first of all, boxes, pretty good stuff. Lead off-road, 2.4 gigahertz, pro controller, and the car. Pretty sure you can connect up to 12 cars is what it is. <coughs> Has a turbo boost. Dom's Dodge Charger RT RC. All batteries are included. And the car itself charges off a USB. Packaging's fairly nice. Descriptions. Charge with USB. Cigarette lighter, outlet for the cell phone, game systems, laptops, desktop. Uh, important. Actual metal gears in the rear end. Long range, 200 feet. Not bad. I actually picked this up at Walmart. For eight dollars, it was on sale, on clearance. Original fifty nine ninety nine. Eight dollars couldn't pass it up. Fair, I go ahead and do a review for you guys with it. But all right, let's go. All right. Instructions. You guys can see that. All right, now that we do have it out of the box, let's check it out. Front shocks. Not that big of an electric motor. Apparently has a wheelie bar on the back. Uh, the body actually is removable. So if you guys have any other RC cars out there, <clears throat> this should fit on it, depending on body style. Or, I'm sorry, the frame style of your RC car. Figure out how to sync this thing up, see what it can do. All right, to sync. Car on, controller on, synced. Let's take it outside for a test drive. All right, guys, out for the test drive. It's gonna sync up. Thank you. 
So far. Steering is a little janky. The steering servo keeps the run even if you're turning left or right. Has really no power, just regular going forward. Do anything, you pretty much have this turbo button. Let's see the distance. Okay guys, my recap on the Jada RC Dodge Charger, not that bad for an $8 deal. I mean, it's not that bad even for a $59.99 RC car. I mean, it's a Walmart car. It's not hobby grade, it's more toy grade. Um, to do anything in the grass, if it's higher grass, you have to keep the turbo button held in to get it to go anywhere. Uh, the range is amazing on it. The only downfall I don't like about it is uh, the steering. It's not accurate. You turn left and the wheels just go left. You don't have my new steering on it. Other than that, and the turbo button have to be held in higher grass, not that bad. Would I recommend it? For a child? Yeah. An adult? Maybe for a toy to play around with? Definitely not a hobby grade. But, till next time, hit the thumbs up button, comment, and subscribe. See you later.